y'all, it's Aaron Jackson coming to you today with another country guitar uh, chicken picking lesson here. And today I want to show you one of my favorite country guitar solos of all time. This is Vince Gill's solo to One More Last Chance. This is a big 90s country hit and I've always loved this solo and I always love teaching it to my students. And uh, yeah, so I'm here to share it with you today. One of the things I always try to say, kind of a disclaimer at the beginning of these videos, this is me using my ears best as I can to decipher these licks and these ideas. Now, I've watched um, a lot of live videos of Vince playing this, so I, I, I'm, I'm pretty damn close to the way that he does it on here. But um, again, the purpose of learning these solos isn't just to be a clone of the particular person that you're learning from but it's to gather ideas from different players and then eventually use these in your own play. And so if you'd like to get the tabs for this, hit the um, uh, video description. I've got a link down there for it, and I've also got a link in the top pinned comment. So let's jump into it here. All right, so... As he's about to go into the solo, give me just one more last chance before you say with me. And we're going to start off with... Something along those lines. And then we're going to jump into the first phrase of this. Um, all right, so... Um, so a, a familiar looking little sixth. But he plays with single notes to a bend. We slide down to that fifth fret of the third, and then I think he does that bend. So that is on that fifth fret. That's a whole step bend that I think he just does with his pointer finger, which is a cool thing because he slides down. So this is D. This is the one. Slides down to that dominant seven to signal we're about to go into the four chord there. So, and then we're gonna do so again another familiar looking six there, and then we're gonna do. I think he plays it down there and not up here, but you could play it in either place and it'd be fine. Um, or. All right, so before we go on, let's kind of um, uh, retrace our steps here. So, um, give me just one more last chance before you say with me. And we'll do it. Watch Vince play this one. He plays this lick. Um, he plays the same notes, but the left hand fingering that he uses, he, he does. And I know just for me, that is freaking painful. Um, so you can do it that way. I've seen a lot of people play that lick that way. I find for me that's a little painful, so I like to do. Okay. Um, and, and and he might even he might release that bend. I like to just hold that through the phrase there. Or if you want to. So then after that lick, he's sliding back down. So we've got... Alright, so again, that's over D right there. And then we're going to go to A, and he's going to do... Okay, 
Okay, so a cool little kind of bluesy sounding lick there. Again, like I was doing a minute ago, before we go on and try to eat too much in one bite here, let's retrace our steps again here. So we're going to do... Um down with a familiar looking sixth sixths passage we're going to do <laughs> pattern repeat a lot with different uh, country guitar players here. And if you'd like to um, check out another video that I've done that really um, goes deep into that little sequence right there, kind of all over the neck and in a bunch of different keys, check this video out right here. So again, okay, again, that's over D. And then we go to G, and he's going to do this. So this down here, this is over G, um, but it's kind of so like your index finger across the um, uh, first fret of the second and first string. You know, like you have to do whenever you're first learning that dreaded F chord. <laughs> you know, so. up to this little six. All right, so we've got. Okay. And then it goes back to G, and we're going to do. So um, we're doing. And that's. um ring finger 7th fret of the 3rd string, middle finger 6th fret of the 2nd, and we'll, we'll slide into that. Right. And it also helps, you could probably hear I'm putting almost like a little, like a percussive thing. And that's kind of what gives chicken picking um, a a distinct sound. And what I do right there, since that's G, is you can just kind of kind of hit the fourth string in between those double stops. You know, and it just, it, it gives it that bucka bucka bucka, that chicken picking thing. Alright, and then the next phrase. Alright. And then we're gonna do.
that's how he ends it. It's kind of hard to hear like the very last couple of notes of that solo. It sort of gets lost in the mix on the original recording, but I think that's what he's doing here. Um, okay. So kind of from this second half of this solo again, we'll do... tempo with a backing track. Again, that's as close to that original solo as my ear can decipher it. Um, you know, I know my my tone's a little bit different than what what Vince is playing with, and um, you know, I'm I'm not doing this to try to be an exact replica. What I like about learning solos like these is um, you can start to um, you know kind of pick and choose and borrow and steal, if you will, from you know different players that you study, and um, add those licks to your repertoire. And um, that's kind of how you come up with your own style of playing. One of my favorite licks in this whole solo is the... I just love that. And like I said, I, the way Vince plays it... And he might even... He might release that bend. I, I like to hold it the whole time. Um, so that's a good one to kind of practice moving around a little bit. So that's out of D. I'm, I'm in drop D right now. Here, let me I'll tune back. Up. So like, kind of out of that. So you could move that up to E. That's a great country lick to have in your repertoire. You can use that all over the place. And it just gives it a nice little kind of funky steel guitar, dominant seven, chicken pig. Now C. You know, in A. You can also do that down here. A little harder down there. So that that's a great one, and this one out of A that he plays. That's a great one. Um, you can move it to B. Um, just kind of a little bluesy lick there that's good to have underneath your fingertips, and then of course. Um, use that all over the place um, as well. And again, check out this video if you want a really uh, kind of an in-depth analysis 
on that. So there's just, you, you know, there's other great licks in this solo. And a G. That's a great one. You can move it up to A. B. <laughs> Playing Black Daddy. But that's just another great lick to um, get underneath your fingertips and move that around. Um, so it's 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 cool to be able to play solos like this, note for note. It is again, but we're not doing this just to become clones. We're not the the what what I love to do. And again, from what I can, what it seems like most of the really great players do is they 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 learn a little bit from a bunch of different players and then kind of combine all that stuff to come up with their own thing. So, um, again, hit the tabs, or hit the tabs, hit the link um, in the video description to get the tabs and also in the top pinned comment. Learn this stuff and then start just, you know, start getting creative with it. Start putting these licks together and start coming up with your own thing. As always, thank you so much for hanging out and I'll see you next time.